Hi, this is Joe Trupiano with Sample Logic, and today I'm going to give you a quick overview on how Gamelan is laid out with some of its main features. Gamelan is far more than just a set of traditional Gamelan instruments. The majority of the product truly focuses on the morphed world, giving you access to thousands of amazing morphed cinematic instruments and multis that were all manipulated and morphed from the massive Gamelan session that we recorded on the scoring stage of Skywalker Sound. To get a sense of the variety of sound within Gamelan, please also check out the Chords in Action video to hear a small taste of the infinite sound that is included in this product. So the entire product and all of its instruments and presets load up under this one main Gamelan instrument. Once it loads, you will see this multi-core view, which contains four sound cores. Inside each sound core contains two sound sources giving you the ability to load up to eight sound source combinations at once. Like in Cinematic Guitars Infinity, we also included the amazing 3D mixer that allows you to mix in an easy to use 3D environment. Another great feature that is new to Gamelan is the ability to now mix and match cross genre. So for example, you can load an atmosphere sound source here with like a loop sound core here. Uh, and this really allows you to mix and match and make an infinite number of multis on the fly. You can tell what you have loaded up inside each core by these instrument icons here. So A stands for atmosphere, I for instrumental, L for loops, and P is a percussive sound source. We also provided the functionality to randomize by genre type. So atmospheres, instrumentals, loops, and percussives, as well as all categories. For example, if I turn all of these R's on to highlight what we want to randomize, okay, and now let's set this to atmosphere and press the random button and it randomizes and picks sound sources and sound core fragment elements from the entire pool of atmosphere presets, yielding a unique and awesome sounding combination every time. Again, this truly gives you infinite creative inspiration. Another main new feature to Gamelan is the all new single core view, which contains thousands of single core presets. So a single core is like a single instrument with up to two sound sources inside of it. If you're not wanting all four cores running and combining up to eight sound sources all at once, then single core is a great alternative to really thin things out and play through the single layers that are the building blocks for making multi-cores. This button here allows you to toggle between single core and multi-core view. You can also load presets from either core type dynamically from this main preset browser here. If you notice, every single core preset when you switch to multi-core is already loaded up inside core 1 of the multi-core view. So single cores is also a great starting point if you want to build your own multi-cores layer by layer. Down below here you will see the master effects which are available in both single and multi-core views. We have dynamics, EQ, distortion, phaser, delay, reverb, and XY which the XY allows you to automate core effects on a per core basis as well as master effects via these two XY sliders. We also have a uh, master stereo widener and master high cut and low cut here. So every element of browsing within Gamelan is dynamic. For example, uh, let's load up a multi-core and then go to single core and let's swap out with some new sound sources here uh, in core one and then take it back to multi-core view and then hmm, let's maybe swap out some of the sound sources that make up core two while keeping all of the sound core effects for core two as they already were and then let's turn on some master effects here and load up some different sound core presets for three and sound core four and let's swap out a few of the sound sources with some new ones. <laughs> so yeah, once you understand the layout, crafting your own multi-core is really easy. 
Or if you don't want to dig deeper, we have already provided you thousands of already made presets that you can just toggle through via this main instrument browser. In addition, there is also the step animator, which allows you to arpeggiate the chords again dynamically. So let me load up a single chord instrumental arpeggiated instrument. Sounds cool. And now I can dynamically load new sound sources while the same R pattern is consistent. Pretty cool. Now let's add some additional instruments in chords two through four. Cool. Okay, so now if we go to the step animator view, I can change the chord to go from link to alt mode. This is a huge feature that you should definitely play with. Link mode allows you to assign all steps to play on all cores or just cores 1, 2, 3, or 4. If you select core 1, for example, then the other three cores do not arpeggiate, allowing you to create some really cool blended motion type instruments. Alt mode, on the other hand, is also really great. You can hit this R on the core line here and randomize this. Now, each step is arpeggiating and playing different cores, depending on what you have set on the core line for each step. This is really great for fusing different sounds together, and I really don't think this exists in any other software or hardware instrument out there. So this concludes our very brief overview showcasing some of the power inside Gamelan. For more in-depth videos and to take the virtual tour of each feature, please check out the Gamelan product page at www.samplelogic.com.